Good evening. It's, uh, I don't know what is the time. Nearly 10.30. Right. I've had a busy day, look at this. <laughs> it's all been cleaned up. Nemo's wanting some dinner. I'll get his dinner in a bit. Yep, all cleaned up. I've just got to find a home for that wheel. A ton of shit on that trailer out there. Going to Mum's to Madra. I think we've got roast chicken tomorrow, if I remember correctly. <sighs> I haven't done nothing in the bedroom. Pidgey is still alive and well downstairs. I've cleaned him out today. Yeah, gave him a nice clean out. I'm doing dinner. I don't know what's happening with these fucking sausages, but they're cooking shit. Look at them. They've all gone mushy and horrible. Edible? Just mushy, <laughs> for some reason. I'm doing the last bit of chicken as well. Here we go. Right. I've got to take a power supply with me, a computer power supply, that is. Power supply. It could be any fucking power supply, couldn't it? No. Because um, he's just bought a new computer case. Uh, I don't know if he's got any motherboard or anything with it, but he wants me to bring out one of them. Now, the gold ones are 550 watt, the black ones are 500 watt, and I know... I've got a 700 watt somewhere. Um, it might be on that, so I may pull that one out of there later and just take the side panel off because I don't think this one's got a window on the side. No, it hasn't. And uh, I'll just have a peek. Uh, still having DVD drive issues with that. I'm actually wondering if there's an issue on that particular start a channel because I've changed the cable it still crashes and restarts every time I try to use the DVD drive I've changed the DVD drive it still does the same thing and today I even uninstalled the drivers and it, when it booted up it reinstalled the drivers automatically and it still does it <laughs> so the only other thing I can think of that it could be I have asked a computer savvy friend of mine as well for an opinion is possibly an actual issue on that SATA channel so I'm actually what I might try is unplugging it and plugging it onto one of the other SATA connectors and see if that resolves it I don't know <laughs> I'm just shooting in the dark I think now it could be anything <sighs> Well, as far as I know, I'm still winning that Sony s cyber shot. Ugh. That's going to put me really, really short. Unless I sell something on eBay. Well, actually, I have sold something or something will sell. Whether they pay for it or not is something entirely different. But another quick look. Have I got any messages? No, I haven't, so... Nothing has changed. I've not been outbid or anything. Ends tomorrow. There's that pair there. 20 hours left. A 99p start bid. Oh. Uh, time does that end? Just so I know. 725 what was wrong with these I can't remember Sony DSC S950 steady shot 10.1 megapixel into Kodak 9.2 digital I think they both was working but got no charges for them so selling for parts not working thanks for happy thanks for looking happy bidding might go for them because like I said I've, they would be absolutely perfect for taking photographs 
uh, as well as perhaps slapping one on my bike. And there's this one, spares or repairs. 99p. What was wrong with this one? Oh, yeah, that was it. The um, screen is broken, but it works. It's still usable. Um, and according to them, they've researched it and a replacement screen. I don't know if they meant to put the British pound sign there, but they've put a dollar sign there and it says 4.99. Um, I should actually query that maybe, but that's 99p start bid as well, no bids. Well, I might take a chance with that as well. Seriously, that is that's in my county. It's in Norfolk. That's where this is. Quite a, um, a distance away from my town, but it's in the same region. If it was actually closer, I could have gone and picked it up. <laughs> Some eBay sellers will actually um, allow collection. Uh, some won't. Some are post only for some reason. I don't know. Maybe they just don't want random people turning up on their door. Which is uh, fair enough, I suppose. I'd allow collection. It don't bother me if they're close enough. I actually have done in the past, to be honest. I actually have another... Um, Look, oh, that's what I've got to look at. There's all these at the bottom as well. Sony Cybershot Digital Camera. Fully something or other. Let's open these in. There's one there, a 20.1 megapixel. Jesus, and the quality on that one should be bloody good. £5.50. Three. D I'm going to write that to watch list. Is it working? It's working. Hmm. Be nice to actually have one where I haven't got to tape up the fucking battery compartment. I didn't realise they did a um, twenty point one megapixel. Kind of hope when I get outbid on that other one. Now, if I do, then no harm lost. I'll just try for one of these, like this one. Really uh, experienced seller. 99.4% positive feedback. Feedback score of 10,576. Good. Does it actually work? Cannot test further. Powers up, screen works, lens works, but bezel lifting. Takes pics, flash works. A bidding for pictured item only. Oh. Maybe I should actually bid on the £18 one. Mind you, if I get out bid, then I've put an automatic bid of £20 in, so if someone bids more than that, I'm out of the race. I've just realised he's using Lego boards. <laughs> oh, this one's faulty as well, so... Let me have another look. Oh, it's the same seller. Powers up, screen cracked. Right in the bloody middle. <laughs> Buttons erratic, so can't get past setup screen lens untested. Nah. It's a nice little one, isn't it? Fully working. Two bids, 99p. Someone's put an auto bid in. They obviously didn't at first. And only a 4.1 megapixel. Yeah. No thank you. I'll pass. <laughs> right. God, this camera eats through batteries. I've lost a quarter of it already. I've only been filming for nine minutes. This is This is just a bloody battery muncher this camera I'm using those like I said I'm using those I'm not going to have to leave the light on because I actually even though it's 
just two little LEDs I actually find that tends to eat through batteries a bit more oh well I've got that one at least haven't I and that one has anything else I'm selling been bid on I know one lot has yeah but at five items four of them are being watched which isn't a bad thing um, my job lot of bike parts they're all being watched that one job lot I've just realized I've misspelled old um, vintage bicycle rod brakes stirrup clips and guides that's been bid on um, they need re-chroming, repainting, whatever someone wants to do with them, but still usable. And I've got that one, that's got two, they've all got two watches on. I could have listed a lot of them, these little bits separately, but I just can't be asked to do that. Uh, especially with a ten item a month restriction, that would get rather tedious quickly, so... How we did them? Not quite there yet. Right. I'm gonna give Pidgey one last check later. Make sure he's all right. He's got a temperamental personality, bloody thing. I was actually talking to my neighbour earlier. Um, he saw a sparrowhawk take out a pigeon about a week ago, and he believes it was the mother for this young pigeon I'm taking care of. Uh, I've basically converted the bird table into a temporary cage. And I've put panels on three sides and I've just got like an old tea towel I've draped down the back. It's pinned on. And I pin it at the bottom as well. One, it'll stop cats from seeing him. I actually noticed that every time I've bought a bird in this flat, Nemo has not taken any notice until he's seen him. I thought he'd pick up on the scent. But nope, it's not until he actually sees the bird. Because that black bird I looked after for them a couple of hours till it, you know, it regained its senses after hitting the window. <laughs> um, I had it in a box and Nemo couldn't see it and he didn't pay it any attention. He didn't even go to the box. But because he could see the pigeon, he wanted to try and get it. So, um, And I know there's at least three or four cats that roam around here, so that keeps him safe. And because of Nemo, I can't have him up here, because I don't have a big enough cage or anywhere to put the cage. If I did, you know, get a cage. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I gave him some fresh bread. Mum said I should go dig up some worms and put those on there. I suppose I could. Wouldn't hurt. Um, my neighbours below me is putting some fruit on there because pigeons will eat almost anything. That's why I call them flying rats. And uh, as my neighbour said, you know, some people will consider them vermin, because they can be a pest, as I've said before, but uh, he likes all birds. So do I. Anyway, my dinner's cooked, so... <sighs> Sausages and a piece of chicken, how appetising is that? can't be asked to do any chips or anything with it. I've got no potatoes, so I can't do that. Well, the only form of potato I've got is chips. Get a bottle of cola out of the fridge. Yeah, I was going to go to um, Kroma's, um 
custom and classic American car show yesterday, but mum, <laughs> she's got to work tomorrow night, so she wanted to get a bit of um, sleep beforehand. Um, she's got a lot to do tomorrow as well, so that's understandable. And to be honest, I'm not really that enthusiastic of going either. For, you know, I don't know. Usually I am. I'm really eager to go, but not this time. Get use these Heinz salad creams up. I've had them kicking in the fridge for a week or two. Still in date. Sauces keep for a long while. Or condiments. Right. I'm going to sod off and uh, eat. So, thanks for watching. I'll we'll get this video up. Still got to sort out part four and five of the bike build. I actually forgot about it today because I got stuck into cleaning up in here, to be honest. It was just driving up the wall and the mess everywhere was depressing me. Um, so you're probably thinking, why oh, didn't I clean it up sooner? Well, my thinking was, as I was doing two or three bikes this week, one after the other, I didn't want to fix a bike, clean up, just to go make a mess to do the next bike. So I just lived with it. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.